So, uh, my name is Martin, and uh, this is my presentation. So, I've decided to do my project about space colonization um, and the problems associated with it and how they could be solved. Um, I mainly decided to do this because of my interest in space. Uh, I find it very fascinating and exciting because of its immense variation and continuous expansion, which means there are always new things to explore. Um, so I thought it was the most interesting aspect of space. And I came up with space colonization because it's something people can relate to and it's something achievable. I think it's especially interesting because of all the sci-fi books and ideas people have come up with about this subject. And the fact that it could actually be achieved is really exciting. Um, I also think that since the Apollo and Moon missions, um, exploring space hasn't been as exciting for people. And I think colonization of all the planets could be the next thing that gets everyone excited in space exploration again. Um, I mainly wanted to cover the possible problems associated with colonization and inhabiting other planets. And I wanted to come up with the, uh, solutions using a wide range of sources. Um, here are only some of the problems astronauts would face, which would need to be solved if humans are to inhabit other planets. Um, oxygen. Astronauts would need a reliable source of oxygen um, to be able to survive. But they would also need a uh, supply of other gases which compose the air and earth, such as nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Um, all these gases would need to be uh, required from the environment as Earth uh, couldn't supply anything. Um, oh, sorry. Um, food and water. Food and water, water and, and essential minerals and vitamins would need to be supplied to the astronauts um, uh, in order for them to properly function and survive. As the association won't be able to send anything, uh, the astronauts would need to establish a um, reliable uh, source of food and water and would need to make sure they get all the necessary vitamins and minerals. Exercise. Astronauts living in space habitat would need to do exercise to prevent bone and muscle loss. Muscle loss takes place because human muscles uh, need little contraction to function in space. This leads to significant muscle loss. If muscles aren't working for their usual, uh, usual usage, exercise will therefore not strengthen astronauts but only keep them as they did before. And finally, living conditions and the habitat itself will need to be well designed to function in such environments and be able to house the humans. There would be need to be storages for food, water, living space, life supply units, and uh, other aspects. Um, for example, one solution to the problem of oxygen, which would be possible on Mars, would be to extract water from the ground and then oxygen from the water. Um, however, other gases which compose uh, the air uh, would, be, uh, would have to be acquired from the atmosphere. Um, another solution to the problem of food is a possible theory of growing food in greenhouses in the habitat itself. Um, plants would need to grow without soil, but um, the plants wouldn't only be useful for food, they would increase their air quality, give astronauts something to do, and also widen up the plant spaces. Furthermore, the problem of exercise on the way to the habitat could be easily solved by using uh, basic equipment such as treadmills to keep the astronauts fit. Um, they would need to be uh, harnessed in because of, due to the weightless environment. Um, I also had the idea to create a model of a Martian landscape and human habitat. So I, I could explain how the habitat would need to be built and I could reference my report to make it easier for the reader. I made the initial model on SketchUp and here you can see the stages of how I made the habitat. Um, I added hills and rocks to our fields. Um, here I modeled uh, separate modules which would make up the habitat. I modeled the storage um, where all the food, uh, water, supplies and uh, repair equipment would be stored. Uh, the life support unit where water, oxygen and energy would be supplied to the rest of the habitat. Um, living spaces. Uh, and uh, the greenhouse where all the food would be grown. And here is the finished model. Um, I've linked all the modules in the tunnel to uh, allow uh, travel, communication, and transport, transportation of necessities, such as
which is water and supplies. And I have I make three living waters for each one would be used as a uh, sort of gym. And um, finally, another aspect is the apple astronaut would have to wear. Uh, whether the planet has a higher or lower gravitational pull, astronauts would have to wear either weighted or specially designed suits to protect, uh, to counter higher gravitational pulls. Also, like the apple and the moon mission, astronauts have to protect, be protected from the radiation, high or low temperatures, and thin or thicker atmosphere. When inside the habitat, where the atmospheric temperature and moon will be controlled, astronauts will only need to wear basic clothes. So, thank you for listening. And, uh, okay. Um, from your model, um, how many people were you proposing that um, each module will be able to support, and for how long? I thought, um, well, obviously, but. Um, due to base technology, the astronauts would have to stay there forever. Yeah. Um, and each living unit would support um, two astronauts. So, or two or three, so a maximum of six. Okay, right. Um, so that means, um, in terms of you thinking about human needs, so things like relationships, etc., people would have to effectively say, okay, I don't want to have a family, I don't want to have, yes. you know, children, right. etc. Astronauts would have to be uh, chosen. Um, uh, they would have to agree to this, obviously. They would have to agree that they uh, don't want a family, and they would have to agree that they would stay there for the rest of their lives. But there are obviously people mm -hmm. who well, would accept that. Okay, and what is the what would be the long term purpose of having them travel there? What um, what would you want? Mainly to get research. Okay. So astronauts would have to form scientific uh, research on Mars. They would have to go out and study the uh, samples of the mm -hmm. environment, mm -hmm. and uh, then they would send it back to us. Okay, but what is the advantage of them living there over than you know having space probes or like current, um, is it the Mars rover, sir? Mm, yeah. yeah. What would be the advantage of that over, um, say, robots then? Well, um, always humans are a better way of um, science research because it could go wrong, the robot could break down. Mm -hmm. And since you would have about six people, mm -hmm. it would be much more probable that the research would go on. Okay. Do you have a medical facility there? Um, it would probably be, I haven't covered that as such, but okay. it would probably be stored in one of the living quarters. Okay, thank you. How will the living quarters, how will the mo your model, yes. how will that be made? Um, it will probably be made out of uh, resistant materials, such as, um, well, no. Obviously, all the materials would have to be transported there for that. So built so on the planet? It would have, yes, it would have to be built on the planet. So where would the astronauts live whilst it's being built? Um, you would probably send, um, uh, for example, a robot to build it before they um, go to the planet. And then the planet would come to a uh, gnarly built facility where the living space would be built and then they would live on, for example, packaged foods until they would build, uh, build the greenhouse. So this was, would this then be like a second phase building project? So you have sort of the yes. temporary one and then... There would be two stages. Okay. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was just making a comment to a friend the other day that there's so much, there's so many sci-fi movies coming out recently. In, in the cinema, just because it's a massive trend at the moment, yeah, it's like especially with this Mars mission, mm -hmm. they're down to the last hundred candidates or something like that. Yeah, there uh, is to a go to Mars, Mars one way trip. So, you know, it's it's interesting that it's going to be in the next twenty years whether you know people are going to be living on another planet. Uh, and, and as Miss said, if it's going to be a worthwhile thing or not. <laughs> Would are you looking to then? solve the problem of, of possibly looking for a new colony or habitat for a human because 
remember you you said that um, this is kind of okay, no family sort of thing, yeah. and so it's not a long term looking that okay, you know what, maybe we'll outlive the earth, maybe the sun is expanding, etc., or anything like that. It is purely just for scientific scientific purposes, is it? Um, that, well, that is what I was trying to research. Okay. And after the people who go there die, is that kind of the end of the whole mission? Well, uh, potentially we could send more astronauts. But if, for example, it was only for research purposes and we had gotten all the research, we could just be left. Okay, thank you Good. Okay, thank you. Thanks, mate. <laughs>